welcome back to Yildiz Readings 5D. We're here to do the Twin Flame update for the Divine Feminine. Yes, this is a very interesting week. As we are moving towards the 28th, um, we are going to be experiencing the um, full moon eclipse in the house of Taurus. Now, this again, and I have mentioned in previous videos, that these eclipses are very connected to the divine feminine it is very venusian energy it was where the north node is it is also going to be a wrap-up of these frequencies um so particularly especially getting onto your journey and your path we may have a moment where we feel we are not on the right path now that's okay too sometimes it can be that we are realigning reconnecting revisiting these circumstances as above, as below, as within, as without. And you can see the circles on this card. We are getting onto our path and we are reflecting upon that as we do move towards this. Now, my best advice for this is number one, we do cover the webinars within the YouTube membership. It is pre-released there and then it's released to the public. Um, and that can really cover the frequency of um, energy updates, webinars, and things to prepare you. Now, separately, I will actually pre-warn you in this video some of the tips I would give for a divine feminine during this eclipse. A would be to avoid pacifiers at least four days prior and four days after, or moderate such. Um, psychic attacks are possible. <clears throat> Nervous energy, agitation, um, really eating food groups that are going to enhance. And again, this is not medical advice. These are tips I can give you that you could say if you had a heightened stress, what would you do? Um, you would protect your immunity. You would um, drink fluid. Uh, you would ground yourself. You would try to avoid any conflict. Um, again, also, how do you calm the nerves? Don't go to extremes with caffeine. Don't go to extremes with alcohol or pacifiers. Um, using crystals to protect yourself. Guided meditation, generally speaking, of an eclipse, I generally don't recommend, okay? I would do that work before and after and move through the vibration of the eclipses because you want to be present for that energy. You don't want any white noise. You don't want to avoid it. You need to embody it and digest it, but it is a flushing. It's a full moon. So those would be the tips I would give you. Um, during this eclipse. Also, when it does come to values, don't go to extremities. So we can also overindulge during this time. This can be hitting the metaphorical cookie jar, okay? So you're going to want sweets. You're going to want anything Venusian. You also could kick a habit during this time, which can be quite a positive thing. Now, I'm noticing on the card, the card does drop down to a four. Um, you know, fourth house placement in astrology is moon, family, home. Again, it is an eclipse, so it is moon related. This can be the values within homes, the values within families, the viewpoints, the changes. It can be um, inheritances, um, individuals transcending over. Now, life cycles, family, and transformation. There you go. The card said it all. So it drops to a four. Um, and again, with the moon cycles and the ebbs and flows of life, we can have births, we can have rebirths, we can have passings, but this is regardless, a brand new chapter. So to really be spiritually prepared for it and to know that after such, after darkness, there's always light. So, um, I do know a beautiful patron on this page that hates me saying, trust the process, but big shout out to Lois, trust the process. Now let's get into the overall, have a look before I dig in and I channel these messages. Funny enough, the past position, it is saying what we do need to do is see out this eclipse, is to move through this frequency. This has been a very feminine month. This has been a moment where we directly have been looking at circumstances. As some in Scorpio, um, you know, pretty much from the 23rd is really focusing on the old things. So it's like what's hidden um, our intuition will be heightened where we're going. It's like digging in and getting to the bottom of things. Um, hard parts can be is that it is going to make um, some good aspects, some tough aspects and some um, conjunction points. Regardless, with this moon and Taurus, it is going to be at five degrees. We're also by this stage, by the 22nd, we, we will go 
from having the moon and uh, Mercury in Libra moving over to Mercury in Scorpio. So again, I do get that Pluto energy. I do get that what is hidden you're going to find. And they can be some pearls of wisdom. They also can be a great time where we can be getting to the crux of it. Really good time to detox. Venus also in the house of Virgo will be to do with our wellness, detoxing, wellness, um, you know, maybe going into perfectionism, um, maybe very critical on our image and our vision. But Mars also in that position is going to make us very passionate. And, uh, you know, Mars and Scorpio can make us um, almost obsessive. Uh, so just watch that obsessiveness. Um, but also know that that Scorpionic energy, um, the privacy, if you feel people are hiding things from you, you'll understand at an intuitive level, but also don't jump the gun. I would also say with Lilith moving into Virgo, <laughs> Um, it's our shadow side. We can be looking for perfectionism, but it's also, you know, it can be the shadow side of um, details, intellect, um, re requirements to be perfect, requirements to care for um, certain situations, but it's also the devil in the detail. So overall, this is going to be a time where you may find you are more strict with yourself. But I'm noticing this moon energy in the past and, you know, divine feminine, you know, be it it was a family-related dynamic and everyone was expecting you to be perfect, be it this moon is really um, the huge precipice of change for you, especially in your twin flame path. Any attachments you have are going to come up. You may have some attachments coming up um, towards your path and, you know, trying to get to the crux of things, trying to get to the root cause, wondering how to get back on your path. And I do feel this to be a very determined road. I also feel anything that is holding you back, these eclipses are helping us remove them as obstacles so that you can get to the root cause of it, so that you can get to the heart of it, and so you can move into that unconditional love and be open to receiving such. Passion, love, and spiritual communication. You know, a lot of these cards that I am seeing, and I'm going to give, you know, an overall view. We have the crowning energy. To me, this card is very linked to your twin flame path. The moon, which is a cycle that is changing. The attachments, which is the healing and the metamorphosis and the change. Um, but also the attraction, you know, any ways of relating to these circumstances and how we feel towards other females um, can be a very interesting thing that does come up. Um, and, and letting go of the past so that we can be open, letting go of the hurt that we went through so that we can be open to our spiritual path. But this heart, um, <clears throat> again, I'm seeing as a very twin flame connection. Okay, this is going to take us into the abyss. Okay, this is this this moon is going to take us into the abyss. Um, it could take us into this moment of uh, uh, reminiscence and mystery. Okay, <laughs> again, I don't know why I get Neptune. I don't know why I think Neptune's doing something in the mix here, clearing away obstacles, protect protection and guidance. I just feel a, a luck around divine feminine i do feel the spiritual changes that they are going through this month is almost like a rebirth a rebirth to the dream a rebirth to who they are um a returning of who divine feminine is almost a peeling of the onion and a shedding of the old skin with the kendalini and waking up to that brand new vibration i do feel you'll be more secretive and private but I do think passion and sacral chakra will be definitely running high and DM can be picking up on such. Now, at a base level, oh, this is really funny that we have this as at a foundation level considering such scorpionic energy in the month, all the eclipses. Um, you may be thinking in layman's terms of worthiness, uh, you know, if I'm a mother, am I worthy? If, if I don't have children with twin, am I worthy? Um, do my family accept me for who I am? There also could be a conundrum that you're, you're going through at this point and you don't know what to do next. And that's okay too. If you are spiritually wondering with your path, where you're going, how you're doing things, I would give it, like I said, 
five days before, five days after, move over into November, and I feel you're going to feel very different. We may need to give it post eclipse, easy two weeks to get our bearings and to get full resume. And I do feel if we can move through, this is going to be a time where for the next few months we can relax a little bit more, have a bit more flow, um, but we do need to keep grounded for this process because this has been a massive upheaval. I do feel there's something that you could be spiritually avoiding. I do feel to a degree, A, you don't know what you want to do. You don't know how to deal with it. You don't know if it's going to bring more drama. It's something that I feel this is a very personal um, kind of read coming through. You know, a lot of times we do get the romance. I see the romance lingering through the overall energy. But what I do see here is Divine Feminine really trying to be very gentle with themselves. And, you know, knowing that this is a, knowing it's a spiritual connection, but also knowing that sometimes we need to give ourselves a break to integrate, um, maybe not to know whether we need to go left or right, and not to know how to directly resolve the situation, but just to let the Jupiter energy actually magnify the situation to give us some clues. I do feel harmony and protection is returning. I do feel that's what your utmost desire is. I do feel if you need that protection, it is there for you to have. You need to ask. Some of you with this decision, I feel as you make this decision, it's going to be very quick. It's going to move very quickly. I do feel telepathically this person could be picking up, especially if you're going through a little bit of depression. I do feel a lot of blue energy coming through on these cards is deep. It's very deep and intuitive. I also feel there can be some changes that your family are going through and you want counterpart to be there, but it's also a path that you are walking. You are walking, you are observing, you are part of. I do feel your family, um, there's particular individuals that are deeply protective of you, even if they don't show it the way you would naturally understand such. Um, there can be a message that does come through in a dream. There also can be an offer for a connection to move to the next level. Those of you that are in communication, there can be proposals. I definitely feel what you're looking for is a more serious relationship. But some of you definitely I can see through here as you're transitioning through this vibration, I feel you're not thinking anything of the sort. It's it's almost like on the aftermath, yes, you can be open to that. But while you're going through this ascension process, you sort of like, look, that's the least of the thing on my mind. I just want to be happy. I want to have fun. Maybe I want to travel. Um, maybe you want to study. Maybe I want to meditate, you know, have a moment um, but definitely there is going to be an offer here. I do see the hearts. I do feel the protection. I do feel whatever this connection is, especially being a twin flame path, I do feel it's very protected. At times we feel it's not because of the karmic energy we've um, experienced over the last few years, but definitely when both parties do awaken, it is very protected. Be open to this change. I do feel some of you can be quite reluctant this week. Go gentle on yourself as we do move over into the following month, I will be there to support you. Take care, come join our YouTube membership and I will give you the tips to get you through your journey. Take care, beautiful. See you soon.